Hi, my name is Joanna, and today we're going to be talking about the 1854 Reprocity Agreement in the Atlantic Colonies of Canada. First of all, what is the Reprocity Agreement? Well, it is a treaty established from 1854 to 1866 between British North America, or what is now Canada, and USA. This treaty allowed the free trade of natural resources and agricultural products between the two. Free trade meaning no taxes. It also allowed the U.S. fishermen to fish in the British North American's Atlantic coastal fisheries, and for the British North American fishermen to fish in the U.S. coastal waters. Now, moving on to the history behind the treaty. Before 1852, British diplomats had actually tried to negotiate a treaty many times without much success. The need for this treaty increased between 1846 and 1850, when disputes over the rights of American fishermen in the coastal waters of British North America became a very big issue. Finally, a successful reprocity treaty was signed by British North American Governor General Lord Elgin and the U.S. Secretary of State William Marcy on June 6 of 1854. At first, the treaty was quite popular in both countries, However, British North Americans were scared of being swallowed by the economically more powerful United States, while people in the United States were scared that merging with the British North American colonies would increase the influence and power of the northern states. During the Civil War, BNA quietly helped the southern states. And at the end of the war, the northern politicians were angry at BNA's support for the south. And so they sought an end to the treaty. This led to the cancellation of the Reprocity Agreement on March 17 of 1866. And that's basically it. Thanks for listening, everyone. Don't forget to stay home, stay safe, especially during this period of time. Bye, everyone.